This is my friend Fuad. Fuad, where are we now? We are in my hometown, Maraba. Maraba is located a few kilometers outside Damascus. It used to be a small town, but during the Syrian conflict that started in 2011, Maraba remained peaceful and therefore people from the whole country came there to take refuge. As a result, what used to be a small town of about 10,000 grew to over 200,000 people. Many people in Maraba are farmers, growing fruits, vegetables, and exporting them all over the world. You said Anta Bakara. <laughs> Anta Bakara. <laughs> and a small Bakara. I had the pleasure of seeing how Chobez, a type of Arabic bread, is made. Throughout my trip in Syria, people were very hospitable. And in this case, the owner of a bread factory, seeing that I was a foreigner, invited me to come have a look behind the scenes of how Chobez is made in his factory. Bread is transported directly from the factory into the bakery where it is sold. Have you had the chance to try Chobes before? Comment below, let me know how you liked it. Later that day when we were hanging out in a barber shop, someone came in and told us there was a wedding happening that night and we were all invited. There was a procession where the men were carrying the groom, singing and dancing, and walking him towards the venue where the wedding would take place. We were then asked to sit down and the groom came around and introduced himself to everyone. At the same time, fruits were being served. It didn't take long for me to figure out that this wedding was all about dancing. I was amazed how everyone here knew the same dance moves. I happily sat there and watched the variety of dances going on. People insisted that I join them on the dance floor and though I tried to resist but they eventually just pulled me out. The women had a separate celebration for this wedding, but that did not stop these curious ladies from peeking over the fence to seeing what the men were up to. I couldn't believe my eyes when later that night Shakira showed up to the party. Just kidding. And so we continued to dance for three days. At least it felt like it. Being at this wedding was really eye-opening to me because when we hear Syria, we tend to think of all the negative things we've been hearing in the news on TV. But being in Syria and being at this wedding, I witnessed something that even before my trip, I might not have imagined Syria to be like, with people dancing, enjoying themselves, uh, having a good time, celebrating this wedding. It's, it's such a contrast to what we think of as Syria. All right, my friends, that's it for today. This was part three out of four on my recent trip to Syria. 
please share this video with your friends and tell everyone that you know to subscribe to my channel. For now, thank you, shukran, and maasalamah.